This is Inside Badger Football with head coach Trey Shucker. Financial support for Inside Badger Football is provided by Blake Bell of Edward Jones Investments, the accounting firm of Turner, Rogers, Manning, and Plyler, Welch Funeral Home, Austin Wingfield State Farm, Southern Bank Corp, Chad Kesterson Shelter Insurance, Southwest Sporting Goods, Taylor King and Associates, Mary and Martha's Florist and Gifts, Price and Company, Doctors Rob and Gary Rucker, Eccles, Thompson and Nebo, Clark County Farm Bureau, Dairy Queen, Pediatrics Plus, South Central Connect, Java Primo, Southwest Auto Collection, Midian Digital Creations, Andy's Restaurant of Arkadelphia, and Ishrio Word Law Farmers Insurance. The host of Inside Badger Football is Chase Hartzell. And welcome back to Inside Badger Football, episode four of this 2021 season. I'm your host, Chase Hartzell, as always, joined by Arkadelphia head coach, Trey Shucker. Coach yeah. Shucker, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Well, coach, big win Friday night. We talked about the non-conference schedule and the ups and downs that comes with that strength of schedule. This felt like a game where all those tough tests, both at home and on the road, really paid off. All the lessons learned really came to the forefront. You're exactly right. You know, we did have a really good non-conference schedule. Um, and, you know, those teams prepared us in all three different ways um, to get us ready for conference play. And I thought Friday night really showed that we were prepared. And before we get into the game itself, first off, let's just talk about the results. A win over Nashville. These are two programs that have a history with each other, a rivalry spanning back decades, often has playoff implications there in the 7-4A. How much does this win mean to the Arkadelphia program? It's huge. You know, obviously you want to win the first one. Um, because that's the goal, but um, it's huge. You know, historically this game has been, it decides conference championships. Um, and, you know, it just puts us one step closer towards that goal. Um, but we had to win this one to, to stay on track for that goal. So it was, it was really good. Um, gave us some momentum to move forward into Joe T week. And one of the strengths that really stood out from this game was the defense. Coming into this game, Nashville had played two 5A opponents in a row and scored 35 points or more in both of those games. But in this game, Arkadelphia shut them out through the first three quarters and held them to just 14 points in total. How'd you go about game planning for this matchup and what went right? Well, the biggest thing was uh, we were focused about us. You know, we had a week and a half to get prepared for this game. And, um, you know, after our non-conference schedule and, you know, defense, there were some things that we needed to tune up. And, uh, you know, one of the biggest ones was just being able to tackle better. Um, so we put a strong emphasis on that. You know, we, I thought as a defensive unit, um, we did a lot better job at tackling and getting to the ball and getting the ball carriers down. So it was a really big uh, defense played a lot, lot better Friday night. Well, and the defense does win the championships, but on the mm -hmm. other side of that, you've also got to score the points to pick up those crucial right. victories in conference. So what went right for the offense in this game? Well, I thought that we uh, spread the ball around and found we did different ways to get the ball to different people. Um, but we just attacked the space that they gave us. Um, we didn't try to force the issue much. We just took what they were giving us. Um, we just executed the plays at hand. Um, offense line did a great job of giving our quarterback protection and, and allowing running lanes in the run game. So that, it was just an overall, um, offensively as a unit, we were just clicking um, and everybody was just executing the plays that we had. A lot of great things to talk about from this win. And we're gonna take a look at that win with some of these highlights from the Nashville game. So this was something that we had prepared for um, for the past week and a half too. You know, Nashville had shown that they were going to onside kick quite a bit. So we, that's one thing that I was impressed with as well. You know, we were able to on, recover the onside kicks that they did. And Nashville does have a pretty sneaky secondary. They've given some teams some fits early in the season, and we saw that right here in the first drive. Yeah, you know, they are. They're athletic in the secondary. Um, they, they're the same skill players a lot of them are that they have on offense. And, uh, you know, they're just very athletic. They're able to cover ground quick and cover routes and receivers.
But right here, we really see the offense break through with a huge pass here from Witten to Braylon Bailey. Yeah, you know, this was a matchup that we really liked, and Donovan really did a good job of finding it, getting us down close to the end zone. And then, you know, when, we, when you get that close, it's hard to stop Jay Sean Davis. And there is the PAT. So right now, Arkadelphia 7, Nashville nothing. And here's the kickoff as Nashville's offense gets set to take the field for their first drive of the game. Yeah, you know, it was really good getting that first drive, um, getting a touchdown out of it. And then, you know, right there, we had really good kickoff coverage. That was another thing that we worked on a lot over the past week and a half. And here's Nashville on third down. Good pass here to pick up the first. On that first drive, they did a pretty good job even when they got into those late down situations converting. But as we'll see here in a few moments, the Arkadelphia defense did a good job holding strong. Yeah, you know, they try to do a couple of screens throughout the game and uh, they do really do a good job of how they execute their screen game. <clears throat> and that was one thing that we had worked on quite a bit defensively. But uh, our guys did a really good job of getting to the football, recognizing the screens and uh, just wrapping up and tackling. As you can see right here, you know, we want to get as many uh, red jerseys to the ball as possible. And right there, good deflection from Max Wilson. He had a great game for the he, Badgers. He did. He had a phenomenal game. You know, it, it seemed like on every play he's either disrupting a, the quarterback's throw or um, putting pressure on the running back and making the running back do something that he wasn't wanting to do. So now fourth down, Nashville's going to punt the ball away after picking up a couple of third down conversions. Good stand there from the Arkadelphia defense. Yeah, you know, that's one thing. Those third downs are crucial. If we can get the offense off on third down, you know, hold strong on those third down plays, get the ball back to our offense, we feel good about it. Jay Sean did a great job running the ball hard. Friday night he took care of the ball, um, but really did a lot better job at running through tackles. Right here, just uh, the snap was good, just kind of bobbled the ball, just one of those freak plays that, that happened. Um, you know, nobody necessarily did anything wrong, just really didn't get the snap. And you see some of those plays over the course of the season, but the defense does a really good job here of holding strong. Nashville gets inside the 30, but as you can see, Arkadelphia defense making them earn every yard. Yeah, you know, it's really good to see that many defensive players get into the football, and that's one thing that we want to take pride in our defense in is, is getting, you know, the whole defense to the football. Um, you know, this is really huge for our defense to get back on the field in a bad situation. You know, offensively, we, we turned it over and gave Nashville really good field position. Um, but our defense really did a good job of holding strong the whole time. And now fourth and long for Nashville. Trying to go to the outside, can't find his man and it's a turnover on downs. Yeah. So now Arkadelphia's offense returns to the field. And we see a strong run here from Donovan Witten. Yeah, Donovan's a, a big physical player as well. You know, we don't ask him to do that much. Um, but when, it, when it, we do ask him to, he does a really good job at running the football. And this was a drive where Nashville did a really good job of swarming to the ball. They were really strong up front, especially in the first quarter of this game. But now we see the Arkadelphia defense return to the field. And you can see Nashville doing a good job of taking what the defense gives them. You know, that was one of the biggest things. We try to take away the big plays and uh, just give them some soft coverage to where the, just rally and tackle to the ball, get to the ball and tackle. So they did a great job of that. We're able to break it down on some balls and, and cause some PBUs. So following the three and out, another strong run here from Jay Sean Davis. Faced a lot of contact right from the line of scrimmage, but he kept plowing through and picked up some good yardage. That's it. And, uh, you know, with the type of player that he is, um, you know, one person's not going to bring him down. And this was a crucial fourth down conversion for the Badgers. Donovan Witten with the quarterback keeper, keeping the drive moving. Yeah, you know, we don't ask him to do it much, but when, he do, when we do ask him to, he does a great job. This play was a busted play. Um, this could have went really bad, but it didn't. Um, but coming back following that play was really good, getting a connection with Jay Sean Davis here. And that 49-yard reception from Davis set up the first and goal situation from the Badgers. Right there, third and goal. 
but Donovan Winton, learning the lesson from the last pass, finds his man in almost the exact same spot on the very next play on fourth and goal for the touchdown. Yeah, you know, we were just a, just a miss right there with the throw, um, you know, but it was in a good spot where, you know, we catch or nobody catch it, and then a big follow-up throw with the touchdown. And here's Nashville on the return, currently 14 to nothing, Arkadelphia in the second quarter. Nashville trying to go deep quite a few times, but the coverage from the Arkadelphia secondary was excellent in this game. Yes, you know, it, we, uh, we feel like we've got some really good players in our secondary, and, um, you know, they, they are. You know, the ball's in the air. They play the ball in the air really well. This is a big play as well on third down, I believe. And, you know, Braylon Bailey, um, he plays offense for us a lot, but, you know, he's also a pretty, pretty solid safety for us. Here's one of those screens. Uh, Landon Kewen was flying all over the field. He played really, really well laterally. You know, it's, and this, is, this is him getting in the backfield, you know, putting pressure on the quarterback. And for the second time, Nashville, they're converting on fourth down. But Arkadelphia, you talked about working on those open field tackles, and mm -hmm. that really came into play on this drive. You see another one right there. Just excellent job of flying to the ball and wrapping up the man. That's it, you know, stay over the top and, and just keep, keep the ball in front of you is the biggest thing and then go rally to the ball. So now Arkadelphia on their next drive. Good run here to the outside from Braylon Bailey, hopping his man there at the end of the play. Yeah, you know, that was a really good play by our skill players were blocking out in front of him. And then we come with the same look and, and Find him over the top right here is Latonio Huge running by the defenders. Um, really big play. This this play really gave us, uh, you know, we had the momentum at that point, but this play really sealed the deal on the momentum. Uh, at this point, you know, we're rolling. Um, our defense is playing really well. Our offense is clicking. We've we've hit some big plays, and uh, it really helps all the other assets of the game. You know, right there, really good kickoff coverage, and that was something that we had talked about um, improving on. And then it followed up by the interception here by Latonio Hughes. You know, we talked about this in our Sunday meeting with, you know, as a team, we felt like we played together. And that was something that we had improved on over the course of the non-conference schedule. You know, leading up to this game, we played for each other more out of this game than we have all season. And, you know, this is, you just see everybody having fun and, and making plays and, and doing their job and executing at a high level. And that's what we want. So following that touchdown run there from Jay Sean Davis, it's now 28 to nothing, Arkadelphia. We're still in the second quarter. And here's another good example of flying to the football and getting an open field tackle. It looked like that was Max Wilson there again. Yeah, Max Wilson was in the backfield a lot Friday night. You know, he's, he's a tough, tough player to tackle, or a tough player to block, excuse me. You know, he's, he's big physical, um, he has a high motor, and he just gets after it. So following the muffed punt, now Arkadelphia inside the 20-yard line. This was a really good stand from Nashville's defense. It was, and, uh, you know, that was one of their best defensive stands. And, um, you know, it was disappointing that we couldn't get it, get it in the end zone right there going into halftime. And even on runs to the outside, Arkadelphia did a good job of closing up the space to where there wasn't a possibility for big plays. Yeah, you know, right here, defense getting to the football, you know, that's what we want. Um, wrapping up in space, get to, get, just get the ball carried down. And we see another huge fourth down stop here for the defense. Nashville got into the inside the Badgers 30 yard line three times before finally picking up a score on the fourth time. And right here we see how that fourth down conversion paid off on the very next play, a huge run from Jay Sean Davis for the score. Yeah, you know, this, this play right here really shows his speed. You know, he splits the safeties, the secondary can't catch him. Um, just a big play for him overall and really shows how athletic and how fast he really is. He's, he's a big body, but he's not just a big body, he can run.
Yep, and the offensive line did a great job of opening up space there for Davis on that 78-yard touchdown run. It's now 35 to nothing, Arkadelphia. So at this point, we've got um, the mercy rule is in, in effect, and you know we'd we'd like to get to that as quick, quick as possible if we can. Um, you know we left a lot of the the same guys, our starters, in, on the field for one more drive. Here's a big play right here by Latonio Hughes. You know, he had a huge night overall um, on offense, on defense, and in the special teams. Um, just a big play right there by him. You know, that it shows how athletic he is as well. You know, he makes one cut up field, um, gets through an arm tackle, and then outruns everybody else. He's by far our fastest player. Um, you know, the defense right there had a really good angle on him and still is not able to run him down. So right now, 42 to nothing, Arkadelphia game clock is still running here in the final moments of the third quarter as Nashville there on the kick return. Yeah, you know, and we talked to our kids, and that's one of the big things that we talked about at halftime. It doesn't matter what the score is. Uh, we want to play up to our expectations. So, you I mean, even though the score is 42 to nothing right here, you still see our defense flying and getting to the football and wrapping up. Um, you know, at this point, we don't want, we don't want it to look like – the score is what it is. Um, the, the expectation is always the expectation. So now Arkadelphia's offense returned to the field. Some younger players got some playing experience yeah. there late in that third quarter and into the fourth. Yeah, and it's huge for those guys to get in on a Friday night, especially against Nashville at home, first conference game. You know, we want to get as many people on the field as possible if we can. And um, we were able to do that Friday night. and. That's always a fun opportunity for those kids to get on the field and, and show what they can do. Big play right there by our defense. You know, our defense continues to step up and uh, put pressure on Nashville's offense, and that's what we want. And now we take a look at Max Wilson, just an excellent job of getting off his block and getting right to the quarterback. Yeah, you know, he just had a huge night. I mean, they just – He's, a, he's a, such a big physical defensive lineman, and he's hard, hard to block. And um, he's one of those guys that you probably need to slide to him quite a bit. You know, he's, he, he's going to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And there was a good pass from Gunter followed up by a quarterback keeper for a touchdown. So Nashville finally on the board here in the fourth quarter. It's 42-7. to seven. Yeah. Right here, really good job by Latonio. Um, we were ready for an onside kick, and uh, you know they kick it deep. So Latonio just runs it down, and makes a couple people miss, and then opens up with his legs, and then he gets t tackled by the by the kicker there. But um, just a big return by him. Nashville's defense doing another strong job there of holding Arkadelphia's offense out, and they get the turnover on downs. And here's another big play from the Scrappers. And that was one thing, even though they were down on the scoreboard, that's, that's been a tradition with Nashville. They continue to fight until that final whistle. That's exactly right. Anytime that you're playing Nashville, they're going to play all the way through the, through the end of the game, no matter what. And then, you know, that's another reason what we talk to our, our players about is it doesn't matter what the score is, we got to go play, and the expectation is the expectation. And uh, we expect you to execute and play at a high level and play fast. It doesn't matter who's on the field. And so now it is 42-14. Arkadelphia is still in the driver's seat. Less than two minutes to go in the game. And here is another kick return from Latonio Hughes. And we saw some solid runs from Cade McBride on this last drive of the game before time expired. Yeah, you know, Cade, he's a, he's a sophomore for us. Um, he's our backup quarterback. And he's a big, you know, he's a tough kid. He, he runs the ball hard, does a really good job at coming in and, and doing what, it, what he needs to do to get a first down. Yep, and that right there is the end of the game. Arkadelphia 42 and Nashville 14. Coach, any closing thoughts on this matchup? You know, it was, it, it was a really good first win for us of, of conference play and um, gave us momentum. Um, you know, if, if as the season wears on, you see, you know, teams that are successful or healthy, and right now overall we are, and we are try to keep it that way, obviously, but, um, you know, it was, it was a really good win for us Friday night, and, and we're excited about moving forward. 
And when we talk about Arkadelphia, we talk about playoff aspirations. What is the importance of starting off 1-0 in conference? It's huge, you know. It, it, Got to win that first one. And, uh, you know, this one was a big one with Nashville just because of, you know, when we talk about the history of the conference and, and uh, winning a conference championship, you got to win the first one, but you're also going to have to beat Nashville at some point. And so, you know, one of our goals as a team is, is to win a conference championship, and um, which, is such, which sets you up for the playoff seeds. And um, so, it, but this is a big, big win for us. It was indeed, and a lot of positive is in this game, a lot of standout performances, and I think it's time to recognize some of those with our Badger Player of the Week awards. So our Offensive Player of the, of the Week was Latonio Hughes, uh, starting wide receiver for us. He had a huge night, four receptions for over 100 yards and two touchdowns. Um, you know, he's just super athlete, super athletic. You know, he plays on defense and special teams for us as well as big players on, over there but uh, had his biggest night um, on offense Friday night. Just a huge performance there from him. And now we move on to the Defensive Player of the Week award, Max Wilson, a guy whose name we brought up many times. Looking back at this highlight reel, he had a great game. Yeah, you know, Max, he, he had a lot of big plays Friday night, was, was so disruptive in uh, the run game and the pass game. You know, he had uh, five tackles, a couple tackles for loss, he had a sack. Um, he also had a PBU at a defensive line spot. Um, you know, he's, he's just so disruptive and just a big physical player. Had a great night, Friday night. Special Teams Player of the Week, Alex Turley. Um, you know, Alex was flying around on defense. We, we talked about improving our kickoff coverage. And, you know, Alex flew around on defense, made multiple tackles um, in, in the kickoff coverage and the kicking game. And, um, was also a big player for us on defense as well, but the, we thought special teams, he was our special teams player of the week with how he, he attacked the kickoff coverage. And then our Badger Spirit Award for the week, Caleb Coger. Um, Caleb Coger came to us last season. He's a volunteer coach for us, does a great job. He works a lot with our um, junior high program, and he also works with our high school program. So he's, he does a lot, he does a lot of duties, and. Um, just does a great job all the way around, and he's always um, looking for something else to do and help us help us out. He takes a lot off of us as coaches, and um, you know he's so willing to be a part and uh, coach our kids. Does a great job for him. Yep, just an all-around great contributor to the program, and yeah. congratulations to him as well as all of our Badger Player of the Week award winners. And with that, we're going to take a look at how the rest of the conference fared with the 7-4A scoreboard. First off, you see the score that we just broke down. Arkadelphia 42, Nashville 14. With the win, Arkadelphia advancing to 2-2 two two on the year, 1-0 in conference play, while Nashville falls to 2-2 two and 0-1 two and oh and in conference play. Yeah. Um, you know, it was just a big, big night for us Friday night, and, you know, we're ready to keep moving forward. So we move on from there. Ashdown and Harmony Grove. Ashdown has kind of had an under the radar great start to the year. They pick up a huge conference win here after going undefeated in non-conference play. So they're 4-0 to start the year, 1-0 in conference play. Yeah, you know, Ashdown's one of those, those teams that um, you never know what you're gonna get. You know, they're very, very athletic. And it's one of those teams that you got to be able to play well against. And moving on, we see the score from Boxite Malvern. The Leopards defeating the Miners 40 to 20. Malvern had some up and down, ups and downs in the non-conference schedule, but they did a great job of bouncing back here and picking up the victory to open up conference. Yeah, you know, Malvern's another one of those teams in our conference that's very, very tough. And, um, you know, we play them late in the year, um, but they're, they're very athletic and, and they've got a really good team this year also. And they're another one of those teams that can benefit from having that strength of schedule in the non-conference because they did have a lot of tough matchups to start out the year. That's right. You know, that. You know, that's our thought of it, too, is having those tough non-conference games will prepare you for this conference. And then finally, we have the matchup that we'll be looking at next week, Robinson. They had a huge victory this week to open up conference 48-25 over the Fountain Lake Cobras. Yeah, you know, that was a – and really it was a hard-fought game early from what I've seen. And, um, you know, both Fountain Lake and Robinson, very good football teams. And, and uh, Robinson, you know, they're typical – Fast, physical, athletic, um, just good football team. I mean, they really are. They're probably one of the top teams in 4A. Yeah, and on that note, let's start to break down this huge matchup, a matchup that some are calling the 4A game of the week heading into this week. 
Joe T. Robinson is a team that's having another strong start, mm -hmm. as we expected. They're 3-1 and one on the year, 1-0 and in conference play. That only loss came to the defending 5A state champions, Pulaski Academy. This is a team that refuses to lose. If, if they can do anything about it, they're going to try to go out there and get the victory. You know, how do you prepare for a high-quality matchup like that? Well, the biggest thing is just making sure that we are prepared and, uh, you know, worrying about us and, and fixing the things that we need to fix and being able to execute at a high level. If we can execute um, the way we're supposed to and the way we, we're capable of, um, we'll be just fine. You know, we've got uh, really good athletes and good football players as well. Um, we're physical. And, you know, we, the biggest thing is just worrying about us and, uh, you know, they're a really good football team. I mean, they really are. They've had a really good non-conference schedule. They've done well. And, uh, you know, that it'll be a really good matchup Friday night. We're excited about it. Yep. So based on what you've seen, what can we expect from this matchup, We're looking both at this year's Robinson team as well as this historic rivalry between them and the Badgers? Yeah, well, I think you can expect a fourth quarter, a fourth quarter game. Um, you know, I think it'll come down to uh, turnovers and explosive plays. And then whoever has the ball last at the end of the game is how I th really think it's going to go. Um, it's going to be a dogfight. This is going to be a really great game. Yep. And with all the attention that is on this matchup, this year as well as all the other years past, as a coach and you know looking at your players, is that something that atmosphere? Do you you, you know do you try to to leave that out or just try to do you choose to use it as fuel or do you just try to kind of cancel it out and just focus on the game at hand? Yeah, you know it's it's something that we try not to really think about to be honest with you. Um, sometimes if you if you think about the the pressure of the of the game or or whatever, sometimes you can overthink it. And, uh, you know, we try to make things as normal as possible, um, worry about us, execute the way we're supposed to, we're supposed to execute and what we're capable of, and we'll be just fine. You know, the, the situation of the game and the atmosphere and all that, it'll, it'll be a big atmosphere and, and it is a big situational game, um, you know, could possibly determine conference. Um, but all that stuff, we've still got to go out there and play and execute. So if we can just worry about us and, and do that, we'll be just fine. Yep, well, Coach, it's going to be a great matchup. Everyone's looking forward to that one. Starts at Joe T. Robinson at 7 o'clock Friday night, October 1st. And you can catch that game right here on ArkadelphiaBadgerTV.com. Well, I think that's going to do it for this week's episode. Coach, thanks for joining us and great win. Hey, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Go Badgers. Go Badgers. Financial support for Inside Badger Football is provided by Blake Bell of Edward Jones Investments the accounting firm of Turner, Rogers, Manning, and Plyler. Welch Funeral Home. Austin Wingfield State Farm. Southern Bank Corp. Chad Kesterson Shelter Insurance. Southwest Sporting Goods. Taylor King and Associates. Mary and Martha's Florist and Gifts. Price and Company. Doctors Rob and Gary Rucker. Eccles, Thompson, and Kneebone. Clark County Farm Bureau. Dairy Queen. Pediatrics Plus. South Central Connect. Java Primo. Southwest Auto Collection. Midian Digital Creations. Andy's Restaurant of Arkadelphia and Ishrio Word Law Farmers Insurance. Inside Badger Football is produced weekly by Washita Baptist University's Rogers Department of Communications and the Washita Sports Digital Network.